Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another Slimming World update. Um, I have now had five weigh-ins with Slimming World. Um, it should have been six but last week um, I didn't actually attend class. I had a holiday booked instead. Um, it wasn't anywhere exciting, well it was a little bit exciting maybe for us but um, it was my daughter's second birthday and we went off up to Peppa Pig World instead and um, we live on the Isle of Wight so that means ferry and driving to get there and we weren't going to make it back in time for um, me to go to club so I actually booked a holiday off with them instead. Um, some people like to go to another way in that week. Um, I don't really, um, I enjoy the class I go to, I like the people there and um, I feel comfortable so I just thought instead of trying to find somewhere else um, I would just book a holiday off, it was easy for me and it just means that I kept that seven, seven day between each way in kind of thing rather than going for a shorter distance um, and then you don't always lose so much and sometimes you can get a bit disheartened or this is how I find it so yeah I just completely missed way in that week. Um, <coughs> I did find though because I had the two weeks off that um, you tend to have a few more naughty days don't you um at the beginning i felt like oh i could just have that naughty snack and it won't matter too much i have next week to rectify it um and then when i got into the second week um i had a couple of days where i thought oh i've done good for all that time i could have a naughty snack it doesn't really matter um i've probably already lost quite a bit it's not going to make much difference so yeah, you do have that problem when you go for a bit longer. Um, you kind of lose the motivation a bit as well. Um, I find that when I go to group, that motivation's kicked back in, especially when I get to stay. I would definitely, definitely say to anyone that is looking at doing Slimming World or a similar diet where um, you go along to group, then um, staying in group, oh, staying in group is um, the way to go. You, um, gain so much from staying in group it keeps you motivated um listening to how other people are getting on is definitely a drive as well if someone's had a really good weight loss that week you think hell yeah i want to do that next week too so yeah i would definitely recommend staying so because i didn't get any of that for the um week that i missed i do feel that um i I, I still lost weight, don't get me wrong, I, I done well, but I think that had I have gone each week I possibly would have done better, more to what my average weight loss is for a two week period. Um, we also had a night off as a couple for a change, um, my mum had my um, eldest two girls and me and my partner just had our little baby Eli and for us that was a night off because he is a very good baby he came up to bed and we had a marks and spencer's meal deal meal <laughs> not the best choice for on slimming world i actually looked up our sin value for you pick a main a side a dessert and then a bottle of wine and i only <laughs> looked up the sin value for we had a lattice um it was a goat's cheese i think a goat's cheese and red cabbage did he say oh, i can't remember but it was a goat cheese and something lattice it was so so nice but i did look up the sin value and i think it was 32 sins just for this lattice um i'm not sure it was worth the 32 sins either but it was nice but i'm still not sure it was worth 32 sins um but it was the only vegetarian option we went specifically to marks and spencers we had a voucher to use and yeah it was a night off you need nights off once in a while so um we went for it i dread to think how much the whole meal sim wise was because you, we then had um potatoes uh, new potatoes which were in butter um and mint um i done a salad a very very big salad to go with it so we did have lots of speed on our plate too but then we had a new york cheesecake um, again I put loads of fruit with that but it was a New York cheesecake so I dread to think what the sins were for that and then I um, had a couple of glasses of wine I don't drink um, so I thought I'll oh, sod it I'm gonna have a couple of glasses well I've already been extra naughty may as well fall off the bandwagon completely um, so yeah it was a very nice meal but it was a very very naughty meal 
Um, so I, I, I definitely find that because of the two weeks that I had more naughty times than what I would have if I'd have gone weekly. But never mind, these things happen, it's life, you have ups and downs, whatever. Um, so yeah, how much did I lose? Um, I actually still lost four pounds, which is an amazing weight to lose, don't get me wrong. I'm not sat here trying to moan because I understand that four pounds is still a very, very good amount. Um, what I have been finding though that I have been losing seven pounds every two weeks so it isn't quite up to that but um I was thinking that eventually it's probably going to slow down anyway I can't keep losing at that rate I wouldn't have thought the um the less amount that I have to lose I can imagine it's going to start coming up a bit more slower anyway but um I wasn't disappointed because <clears throat> it is very silly to be disappointed over a four pound loss but I did kind of think, oh, if I'd have been a bit better, it probably would have been what I wanted. And I wanted to get that stone and a half award that week. However, it is weighing again. Um, this video is up late, so it is weighing again on Monday. And um, I am really hoping to get that stone and a half then. And um, that's £3 to lose. Um, other than Father's Day, I've not had any other days where... Um, I think that I possibly could have a bit more, not naughty I suppose, but um, yeah, Father's Day is probably going to be, might be a bit more naughty than what a normal day would be. I try really hard to um, keep within my sins, but if we end up going out for lunch or anything like that, it is really, really, really hard to eat within Slimming World sometimes when you're out and about, especially when you're vegetarian. When you eat meat you could have like um, salad, jacket potato and then to go with it you could have like plain drumsticks or something like that. Um, but when you're vegetarian you find there is a lot less, <coughs> sorry, there is a lot less um, on the menus to pick from. Usually they do like curries, uh, bolognese, macaroni cheeses, they're all lovely meals but none of them are very friendly when it comes to the diet so if we do go out Sunday then possibly I might eat a bit over but um, I have found with me that if I've stuck to it for the rest of the week I can still have a reasonably good weight loss well a very good weight loss actually um so yeah I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that I'm breastfeeding as well so um that possibly could be aiding with the bigger results on the scales um so yeah, so I am very, very, very happy with my four pound loss. I am so close to that one and a half stone and I can't wait to lose it. And I will say that I am actually starting to um, notice the um, the weight coming off me when I look in the mirror. My legs are tree stump legs um, and they have got, they got even bigger with pregnancy. I felt like that's where I put a lot of my weight on and I am actually starting to look at them now and think oh my gosh you actually look skinnier um the last i think it's three weeks now i've also been um measuring like waist uh breast uh legs um hips i think i've done and belly and to see the inches like i'm losing inches and it, it an inch is quite a sizable bit so um I have them here how much that I've lost actually in the last few weeks. <coughs> um, I have lost two inches off my belly. I have lost an inch off my bust. I have lost two inches off my waist. Um, two inches off my hips. Two inches off my bum and I have lost two inches off each leg so that's the top of my legs I should add so that is quite <coughs> sorry that is quite a big amount I mean when you look at that on a tape measure and you think that has come off me so yeah I'm so so pleased with that I'm so so pleased with how my journey is going and hopefully it will carry on going this way um, I'm definitely not at a stage yet where I'm starting to lose motivation I have found before with diets <coughs> sorry, that um, I do, for whatever reason, start to feel happier with my body and then the motivation sort of slides. Sorry, I keep having 
I've got a bit of a tickly cough and um oh it keeps <laughs> it keeps wanting to come anyway um yeah I do find with diets that um sometimes I start to lose motivation as I start to get happier with my body I'm definitely not at that point yet um I have I think quite a long way to go to Ilstuk I have quite a long way to go still um I have how much is it I initially wanted to lose two stone <coughs> so I have a I have 10 pounds still to lose to lose that first two stone um <coughs> And then I want to reevaluate and decide how much more I want to lose. Um, again, that might not be my end target, but I want to do it in stages. Um, one, because I don't really know what I want to um, get down to. Um, I'm more about, definitely more about what I look like and how I feel rather than what number is on the scales. The number on the scales literally is just um, a way of telling where I'm at kind of thing, how much I am losing, if I'm going in the right direction, rather than the end goal. Um, I know lots of people like to get, I want to get down to this uh, weight, but that's definitely not um, what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for being able to feel comfortable with the way that I look, um, and I won't know until I get there. So after I've lost this two stone, I definitely think that there is another two stone in there, um, but then after that, I don't know, there could be m more to lose and or I could get to that point and think, hmm, hang on a minute, I'm quite happy with how I am now, I think I'll stick. So yeah, we will just have to wait and see. Um, well anyway, thank you for watching my um, Slimming World update and I will be back again with another Slimming World update next week. Fingers crossed that I get my one and a half stone. Thank you everyone, bye!